Hello, uh, what we're going to make today is garlic mushrooms. What you need, olive oil, pan, mushrooms that have been washed, otherwise they're going to let the water out. And in my little pan here, I've just made some garlic butter. If you can see there, what I've done is basically butter, got uh, four garlic cloves and parsley. A good generous amount of parsley, as you can see, it makes up the butter. I find that it gives it a good taste. First off, what we're going to do is start off by adding about two tablespoons of olive oil to the pan then basically what we're going to do is heat this pan so we'll put it on the stove and turn it on and what we're going to do is heat the pan so while that pan's heating we'll just get our mushrooms and garlic butter mushrooms garlic butter as you can see that's the garlic butter just there in my little pan and while that's heating Be nearly there. We're going to put our mushrooms in. We're going to mushrooms in. We're just going to fry them off a tiny bit before we put any any um before we put any garlic butter in. Pan's just getting to heat now. Just coming up. Yep. So now, just as it's coming up, we're going to add a tablespoon, teaspoon, sorry, of garlic butter to the to the to the mixture, as we just want to sauté it with them. Again, we want another spoon of garlic butter. That should be more than enough. As you can see that big blob just there. Now we're just going to let the garlic butter melt and sauté them, the mushrooms off of the garlic butter. You can hear the sizzle. It's just starting to cook. The butter is just starting to melt in there as you can see. You don't, you don't really want to be moving this around too much. You can add as much garlic butter as you want, it's up to you, your, however you like them. But by the end of it, you want to have some clean mushrooms with a nice yellow butter. You can actually use it it's actually quite as a glaze as well. It acts as a glaze to the, to the, di to the like, um, dish. So there we go, just doing that now. As you can see, the mushrooms are getting a nice coating. Of, um, of the, the garlic butter that's just staying up. Just going to drain a bit of that off. That's fine. Carry on cooking. And I'm going to add just one more of the garlic butter because I want these to be like an extractive flavour. And I'm just going to leave them to simmer. Simmer, simmer them, obviously you want to, your mushrooms to be cooked, they're just about there, perfect. See the bottle gone up, and see there's quite a lot of liquid there, do you see that? What you need to do is just basically drain that off, once you drain it off that'll be fine. And then if you want to, once you've drained it off, you can again, um, add some more garlic butter to the mix if you really want to as it is basically the predominant flavour we want here is garlic obviously for garlic mushrooms the butter's just melting in there should be getting a really nice aroma and as you can see the green in there really makes the dish that really brings the colour out of the mushrooms so we go in nearly there Let them simmer, sauté again, a little while. Just 
So you turn. And then what we want to do, we want to drain them straight after. As you can see, the little bits of garlic, which again makes the, the dish a nice, a beautiful, vibrant dish. So we're getting there, because don't forget we're going to be cooking them again. So what we're going to do is now we're going to drain the mushrooms into a pan. So, got my sieve. I'll just literally pour the mushrooms on there. Side, and then just sieve the mushrooms. See that? Look at that colour on the mushrooms. Then, mushrooms, after they've been drained, straight back into the pan. And now, we just really want to dry them out. So, as you can see, put this back straight on the stove. And they'll get straight back up to heat. We're just drying them out now. What we're going to do is we want to cook that garlic in there, the beautiful small garlic that's in there. And we want to kind of cook that parsley and the mushrooms a tiny bit more. And the end. And then. Put the mushrooms in the ramekin. And that's your garlic mushrooms. Beautiful, nice green colour. And what I usually do, as you can see then, lovely. Let's put some of it there. So what I usually do then is take a, another bit of the mixture from the pan. Sorry about that, my camera keeps falling down. And I just literally place it on top of there for the customers or for your family to enjoy that garlic. That will melt by time. And that's it. Thank you very much. Any comments you've got, please leave below. Bear in mind, this is one of my first videos I'm doing. Thank you for watching. Bye.